Hi Aries, how's it going? We are going to do a reading today about what you need to know for June. So that's what this is going to be about. All right, we're starting off with Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay. This can show like something that you had been stuck on or something that you had been worried about or something that had been concerning you in some way, you moving through that. So it means that whatever this is, whatever this is that was going on that could have felt like troubling to you in some way, Eight of Wands shows you, shows you moving far, far beyond that. So whatever this is in June, you're not going to stay stuck on it. You're going to move through and you're going to move through quickly. Seems to like there's something important that you're going to be realizing that you hadn't been seeing before too. Seven of Swords and Hanged Man can be anything that was going on where the whole picture had not been being seen, where there could have been like deception of some sort, where there could have been like a lack of transparency, anything like that. I'm seeing with the Hanged Man that the truth is going to come out about whatever this is, or there's going to be like clarity, or there's going to be things feeling settled. Having the hanged man can mean that there were like delays of this being like made right or this thing being understood or this thing being seen. So whatever it was that had been going on, you could have felt like you were in June working through something that was feeling difficult to sort of piece together. You could have also felt like all of the pieces weren't there, but then I'm seeing that things are going to be put together to make the whole picture but it could have felt like certain things were missing before, certain things were in the dark. I'm seeing those things are gonna be brought to light. I also feel too that you're going to harness your air energy in a way that is like catalytic for you rather than something that holds you back. Seeing Nine of Swords can be a lot of air energy that's that can be feeling stuck and having eight of wands next to it i feel like you are going to harness this and use it in a way where instead of enhancing like whatever this is and sort of blowing it up it feels like you're going to use that you know when you're experiencing anxiety about something it can either make you feel stuck and helpless and you can't move or you can use it as a motivator so you can use that to benefit you i'm seeing that whatever this is that it feels like in the beginning of june could be troubling you a bit that you're going to use it and harness it as a means of fuel for you to get to where you're going to go and i'm seeing this is going to be a very like useful use of this energy for you Okay, I'm seeing a return of something from the past for you in June. something that takes you back a bit yes okay so something from the past is going to be returning it looks like it's it's going to be like offered to you given to you something like that 
So something is going to be coming in. This is the Six of Cups over here. So this means that like whatever this is that's coming through, it's going to be like reminiscent for some reason, or it's going to be familiar for some reason, or it's going to like bring you back or take you back, something like that. Whatever this is that's coming through within the cycle in June. I'm also seeing too that like whatever this was that hadn't been clarified or whatever these pieces were that hadn't been like you hadn't received them yet because this even feels like something that like a truth that you were trying to understand or something you were trying to get more information about or something that had been like not totally clear not to totally transparent not totally direct I'm seeing you like figure this out so it, it can be like something that was sort of hiding in the corner of the room and you thought you had everything in front of you but what I'm seeing is that you end up like finding that you end up spotting that so whatever this was I'm seeing it it doesn't get past you but it could have been something that like it wasn't time for this to be revealed yet but I'm seeing that it's going to be revealed and I'm seeing you be in a spot where like you have your eyes on it so it feels like as soon as it's able to be viewed as soon as this is able to be observed I'm seeing you see it immediately and I'm also seeing too that like having the hanged man here in the center feels like there had been something going on with the hanged man that being connected with Neptune especially having it next to seven of swords this can be something that was happening where like the truth was being hidden or not everything was out in the open or something yeah it was just like something that was still in the dark i'm seeing that it's going to be found out it's going to be realized you are going to observe this and i'm seeing this is going to be a win for you so you can find that you are in some type of circumstance where you feel like somebody sort of put a blindfold over you and I'm seeing that the blindfold is going to be coming off and I'm seeing that it's going to be a win for you because I'm seeing six of wands be connected with it so this is you going through a situation that could have been very difficult to maneuver through because of like the darkness sort of that it was entrenched within but then six of wands shows this like not only a fighting chance that you have but also you like successfully working through it so that means that you're going to find out what this is, you're going to figure this out, you're going to see it for what it is, you're going to see the truth, you're going to gain that clarity. This is almost feeling like an ace of swords to me, where there's going to be a breakthrough about this, but you could have felt like you were fighting against all odds with this situation. Like this could be certain things that were deliberately being like hidden that you end up finding. And having hanged man too here, like Neptune can be a very tricky energy where it's like showing you a bunch of stuff and starting to get confusing. But I'm seeing you be like very, very connected, very in tune, very in touch. And so I'm seeing you pick up on whatever this is. Like, um, again, it does not get past you. If you weren't paying attention, it could have, but I'm seeing you like really keep your eyes on whatever this is. You could also get a feeling about it. Having seven of swords can be something going on where you're like, this feels kind of fishy for some reason, like something weird is happening here, but because of you being like intent to check this out, I'm seeing you get answers, okay? And you definitely feel like you're the one that comes out on top in this situation having six of wands and you'll be like i'm so glad that i paid attention to that i'm so glad that i didn't look away that type of thing because you're definitely finding something out here um this can also have to do with something from the past as well looks like somebody wants to talk to you this is connected with something that had happened Okay, justice. I'm definitely seeing there being some type of, there could have been some type of wrongdoing, but it may have not even initially looked like that. Like having hanged man next to it can be 
somebody doing something and not realizing that they were in a shadow space when they did it, like not being ready to maybe admit that to themselves. And then with the hanged man, it shows sort of buying into what somebody wanted to think of something. But then what I'm seeing happens is that like the truth ends up being revealed, like an objective type of truth here. So this is something where like something shadow related or something something that had been sort of like in the dark meaning like a lack of awareness a lack of consciousness a lack of understanding for something that ends up being like light put on that meaning like awareness consciousness and i'm seeing there be a win that's associated with it seven of swords can be you you maybe had done something where you could have like not been listening to yourself this can also be something that someone else did too where you were like i feel like like that did not sit well with me whatever that was but it could have been difficult to put your finger on exactly what it was and i'm seeing what this is it's going to be revealed so regardless the situation is going to be revealed seeing three of swords and seeing justice here is something where there was pain that occurred because of the way that something had played out, justice shows this being made up for. So whatever this like wounding was that happened, this shows that there's going to be like essentially a reconciliation. But when I say reconciliation, I mean more so from a space of there being like, this is gonna be addressed now. And this is gonna be addressed now in a fair way because justice is here. This means that whatever this was that happened because things were not balanced before or because things were not right before, things are going to be made right now. But there can also be like a fear of the direction of things. Like Nine of Swords and Eight of Wands can be this feeling of being in a space that can bring up a lot of fear, it can bring up worry about change or what's going to be happening, a lot of intensity around that, around the direction that things are going in. But I'm seeing that this is actually promoting a greater sense of healing. And it even feels like it allows one to come back to themselves in a way where they could have felt like disconnected from that part within themselves. So there's gonna be a talk. It looks like there's gonna be, yeah, a talk or something along the lines of that. Like informing of some sort. It's going to be about something that had happened and it can feel like a wrongdoing or something along the lines of that that had happened and it's going to be made right. So I'm seeing like justice be a big thing here for you. Something that had happened, Three of Swords, where there had been some type of like wounding, pain, suffering, having justice here is going to be a rebalancing that happens. This is connected with somebody that you already know and something that already happened. And I'm seeing there's going to be, a, it looks more than anything, I think for the majority of you, this is gonna be a conversation that you have because someone's now in the space to have that conversation with you. But they can also feel, remember this can be you too, it can be this person, it can be you. There are two sides to this, essentially. What I'm seeing is that somebody may have been having a difficult time sort of coming to terms with something here because of needing to make something right, but I'm seeing them come around in a way where now this is going to be happening and it feels like it's going to be very restorative. So maybe you went through something and you felt like, like it knocked your confidence or something along the lines of that. This is something that's going to restore that, whatever this is that's happening. Like it's gonna like bring, connect you back with a piece of yourself that maybe you felt like you lost through the process or became disconnected with. And I'm seeing 10 of cups as like the outcome on the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing this is something that's gonna feel like very happy for you, but it may be difficult when this conversation first comes about because it feels like something very heavy is being addressed. And it could have been something that was like hidden, something that was covered up, something that someone didn't wanna to admit to, like that type of thing. But I'm seeing it's gonna be addressed. You could have known about this, you could have spotted this a while ago, but it because this looks like an interpersonal thing, someone may have needed to get to this place in order to sort of play out the addressing of this with you. 
And so I'm seeing they're getting to that place. So that means that both of you guys are going to be in a place where this is able to be made right. And I'm seeing that there is going to be a major, major correction here that happens. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of learning that you do about this. I think about yourself and also about sort of like the energetic interplay between you and this person. And I'm also seeing too that this had been sort of like shrouded in mystery or shrouded in a cloudiness. And you're going to come out of this feeling like that was such a, a tricky situation to move through. But I really feel like I got what I needed from that. I really feel like I prevailed through that situation. Something's still on your mind. Something that happened from the past. And it can feel like like a lack of transparency, deception, somebody doing something from a shadow space, but then like somebody had not been totally owning up to it, whatever this was. Again, I'm seeing that you sort of like had your eyes on this, but you could have been waiting until maybe like the other person was in a space to own up to this, something like that. And I feel too like you're also learning about yourself through this. Like you may sort of see yourself reflected in this other person. So it's not just you learning about the other person through this. It's you learning about, again, like an energetic interplay, but also about yourself too through this. So I'm also seeing this is going to be definitely beneficial and things again are definitely going to be made right. And it looks very much like this is going to happen because there's going to be a conversation that will be initiated that is addressing, addressing whatever this was that had happened. And again, having justice here, somebody in a space where they're like, now is the time, like I need to make this right. I'm getting something about dancing here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.